Hey, 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 hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you on how you can pick up a prop using the contact node. So, uh, the first thing we need to think about is what prop are we gonna be picking up today? For my case, I'm gonna use a gun. Um, so, over here in the Discover tab, you could type in gun and then use prop right here. And as you can see, there's different guns you could choose from. Again, it could also be just any prop, like a PNG prop or about anything you can think of. But I'm going to use a gun for this example as that's probably going to be a very popular use case. So I'm going to go into assets here and then I'm going to add an asset here. Then I'm going to add prop and then I'm going to go ahead and rename this uh, to prop stationary like so. Then what I'm going to do is that for the source, I'm going to choose the prop of choice, which is going to be this one here. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to have the prop in front of me. So using the arrows to move around. And then I'm going to go ahead and use these settings here to rotate. So 90 degrees for Z and another 94 the Y again you don't have to copy these exact values just pretty much you have to place the stationary prop or its stationary position to where you want it to be like so and then what we're going to do is that we are going to add uh, we're gonna add asset and we're gonna have uh, we're gonna go ahead and add a miscellaneous and we're gonna call it anchor we're gonna call this Hmm. We're going to call this contact trigger. What this is, is that it's going to be where we're going to assign a contact. So that way, even um, like no matter what happens, uh, it'll be able to allow us to uh, grab the prop and such. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Uh, it's just going to be where we're going to put the contact trigger being at. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to attach this to a uh, prop stationary, like so. And then I'm going to move the... Oh, I'm going to go ahead... Oh, there it is up there. I'm going to go ahead and move it so it's like near the gun area, like so. That's correct. So the prop or the anchor, the contact trigger, is going to follow wherever... Uh, the prop here is going so no matter where this moves that contact trigger will always follow it then what we're going to do is that we're going to add one last thing for the assets we're gonna add another asset it's gonna be prop and this one we're gonna call it prop on hand like so again I'm doing this method so it's easier I know there's a more optimal way of doing it but this is just so it's easier for beginners so what we're going to do, this one's going to be the same gun that I had, uh, but this one is going to be attached to my hand. So let's go ahead, attach this to character. Then I'm going to have this, oh my god. And then we're going to have this uh, set to my right hand, like so. Now what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to have this at 9 degrees. I'm going to go ahead, actually, hmm. Uh, just want to see, yeah, no, actually, it should be 90 on the Z. And then rotate, I think I should, yeah, let me just see, yeah, rotate uh, 90 degrees again here. So that way it is on my hand, like so. There you go. Yes, and I have a gun here. And then now that I have it on my hand, I'm going to then set the on hand uh, prop to be no. So that way, by default, that uh, prop on hand is not on my hand right now. But what we're going to do now is that we're going to go into blueprint here. We're going to add blueprint. We're going to rename this to uh, pick up prop like so. Then we're going to search for contact. Click and drag the contact node here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create two contacts. The sender is going to be my hand as the hand is going to be approaching the gun. 
And then the receiver is going to be the gun because that's what's receiving the hand, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and add an element for both sender and receiver. So for sender, we're gonna set this to specific scene asset. The scene asset being my character. And then uh, we're going to set it so it's on my right hand, like that. Then we're going to use these values to uh, fine tune, not rotation, um, to fine tune the placement of the, you know, the of the collider, the little contacting here. So as you can see, it's a little higher. Um, I'll probably leave it this size just for demonstration purposes. You may want to change it to be bigger, smaller, and such. And then what we're going to do is that for the gun, we're going to set this also to specific scene asset. However, it's going to be the contact trigger, as you can see. So, uh, and this is what I mean by, because the thing is, is that when a prop is hidden, if this little contact node is actually set to the actual gun prop, then it's going to be really uh, it's going to be difficult for the contact nodes to be able to know where is this one, the the little receiver at. So that's why we put it to this. Um, that's why we used an anchor, so that way, even when this prop disappears, this contact node or not contact node, this little contact little rigid body, this little collider thing, it's not gonna go away. It'll stay there, so that way the uh, pickup movement will look proper. You'll see. So we're gonna set this to be a box. And then we're just going to adjust the scaling until it's to what, you know, what you want. You know, the size of the prop. Like that, for example. And then what we're going to do now is that uh, we're going to go ahead. We can close these two. We're going to go over here and we're going to type out, let's say, flip-flop. Because we need to toggle between two different... Uh, conditions. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to do set asset property and we're going to add two of these. The first one is going to be the stationary. The other one is going to be prop on hand. So we'll connect exit and enter together like these two and both of these are going to be set to enabled. So what this is going to happen is that we're going to be telling it that on condition A that the gun on hand is going to be enabled, but not the one that's lying down. And then when it goes to B, it's going to pretty much go back to default. So what you're seeing now, the gun down here, that's default. We want A to be where the gun's on my hand. So what we're going to do is that uh, for prop stationary, it's going to be set to no, but prop on hand is going to be set to yes. Then hold the control button click and drag to copy this, control C, then control V. Make sure that these are connected as well and they should reset back to the default value, but make sure that stationary is set to yes and prop on hand is set to no. Then connect A to the first set here and then B to the other set there. Once you have that, now what you're going to do is you're going to connect uh, on contact enter and there you go. Let's see if it works. Oh. Just like that. There you go. See? I could just grab it. I could just grab the gun. And then I just put it down. Whoop. 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 Just like that. So, pretty much, um, of course, again, you would probably want to adjust the scaling or the placement, wherever you want it at. Uh, but otherwise, though, again, your imagination is the limit. You could do many things, such as grabbing the gun from your leg or grabbing your glasses or even I can grab my tiara and stuff. There's so much that you can do with this. It's pretty cool. So, and of course, uh, once you're done setting up the contact set up just press no so that way you don't visualize it and then boom 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 like that 
But that's pretty much it for this tutorial though. I hope that this helps you get an understanding of how to set up the pickup prop. And again, there's many other different ways and definitely a more optimized way of doing this. But this is just more of one that's a little beginner friendly to understand. But otherwise, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!